Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Unscripted Content uh, with your favorite host, Marigold. Um, I'm going to split screen this video for the first time in this channel's history. So on this side is going to be some live music production while I talk about my favorite topic of all time. Simply said, beat block. A lot of people think that beat block is like an emotional state. Like it's just a state of mind that just means that you cannot continue to make music. I think it's really not that deep. I think it's a lot simpler than that. My personal opinion of beat block is that it's just when your perception of yourself does not meet your expectations of yourself and that goes with your music i mean so like say you're making some sort of style of edm and it's just not quite getting there that's when you're blocked because you, you're not getting to your expectation you're trying to make a travis scott style beat and it's not sounding like a travis scott style beat well you're just gonna feel blocked because you cannot get to that point knowing this i think just think about like how can you not limit yourself a while ago i started this thing kind of along with these vlogs to just kind of make whatever music i was feeling on that day and a, a bunch of youtube channels i've been watching now do the same thing but they do it in like a really like constrict you know constricted youtube video like oh for the next 30 days every single day i'm gonna be making a new song and i'm gonna finish it no matter what and almost every single one of them always sounds good but i'm not gonna do one of those 30 day things because i'm trying to do this for life so i'm not gonna record every single day of my life you know <laughs> i think if you just kind of learn the discipline and apply it to your life rather than document it all the time i'm not yeah hey, i'm a youtuber i'm trying to document my shit so i don't quite often call myself a youtuber but i think that's what i want to be might as well start calling myself that i'm tangenting here if what you're looking for is creative flow, if what you're looking for is just the ability to make music without blocking yourself, right? And you're currently blocked while watching this video, I suggest do something completely different from what you were trying to do. Like completely different. If you are a user of Splice, get yourself a loop in a genre you've never made before, play around with it, spend an hour making something, and then go back to what you made before. With that kind of looseness in your mind, trust me, it works every single time. If you don't have Splice, of course, you could do this with like Loopmaster. You can join my Discord community. There's a channel in my Discord community with like 200 different samples in there, song starters and everything. Uh, cool things that me and my homies are sharing. Uh, my homies is you guys uh, because it's been like 300 people of you guys that have joined that. You know, I, uh, samples is just an easy way to kind of allow your mind to start thinking ahead. Long game, best way to get over beat block without using samples is to learn a new instrument and use that instrument as a new starting element to your music production. Say right now you start a new song, what do you start with? Do you start with the drums? Do you start with samples? Is it always either or? That might be a, a sign for you to start considering learning an instrument, learning the guitar, learning the uh, piano. Or you could just be smart about this, be resourceful. Do any of your friends play the guitar? Do any of your friends play the piano? Just hang out with them and record them through their app. It doesn't even have to be high quality. The, the goal is not to make good music. Just remember that. The goal is for you to be creatively free. I ain't, if you don't get that, then I think you're watching this video for the wrong reason. Music will be what it is and it could be good could also not be good but music that isn't finished will never be good look my favorite thing to do after all these years is to just make something work as much as it on it as i can and then export it and put it on soundcloud and then i love just like in the in between times i export it i'll go to the gym or I'll go to work now listening to my music on the way there and on the way back home and <laughs> that's just where you get the the motivation to keep going maybe you're the kind of person that can do seven eight hour stints of music production straight but i guarantee you it's more productive to do two hours and then take a break and then do another two hours which adds to four hours total but you'll have more work done than if you just do an eight hour straight session because seven of those hours are just gonna be tweaking the same things and like one step forward one step back one step forward one step back two steps forward one step back one step forward and then two steps back so you're just gonna be ending up in the same spot i've learned also not to get discouraged by things not working out um and i think that's because i'm making music and because i'm on youtube as well both of these things are very much 
unpredictable in nature i posted this video about success and i really enjoyed making it and you guys really reciprocated that was a different style of video and it's my second most popular video on the channel right now then i kind of saw that and i thought maybe there's a pattern to this let me make another video in this style of editing of this kind of subject but let me do it about tyler the creator and how he in his creative mindset how he doesn't ever limit himself how he gets his ideas i thought it would be a great video but it got maybe one percent of the amount of views even though tyler the creator is a hot topic right now see I, I calculated it i did as much as i could to figure this out the timing of the video the editing regardless of that it didn't work out and that's okay i didn't let it discourage me i'm doing my thing moving on to the next video plus the video's out there it's good shit if you want to watch it i'll just link it in the description of this video how can you keep having fun how can you make it so that it doesn't matter how much music you're making just always be enjoying it because if you're not enjoying it what are you doing it for i want to give you a little update on my life kind of done with the main subject of the video and then soon i'll just be showing the final result of what the split screen music production thing has been i got a part-time job i graduated university last year and i've been kind of in between jobs ever since like yeah i've been unemployed basically for a while kind of banking that my youtube would take off it it sort of did i'm not monetized yet and i'm not making any money off youtube i'm selling my preset pack for serum xfer serum and i make i'm just being fully transparent with you uh between 40 50 sometimes 60 pounds british pounds so it's like 70 maybe us dollars a month from that but to pay my rent and to pay, pay my living because i'm living in a shared accommodation a household basically i'm paying for a room in a house where other people are also paying for their own rooms if you know it you know it it's spare room basically but yeah it's time i get some more income that's why i am now once again working in hospitality i used to work in hospitality like three years ago during my studies so now i am a barista and it's uh, it's 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 lit it's kind of fun I'm, I'm really grateful for that because that just means a lot of the pressure of having this youtube thing needing to work out the pressure is really below it if that makes any sense so that's a little update on my life that's what my last like community post was about i'm gonna be doing more of those in case you want to be updated as well but you can also stay updated in the discord community that's the reason i made that one and you shouldn't be discouraged either uh, just because i got this job now doesn't mean i'm not going to be making videos nothing's gonna change i have less time to make videos now but I will still be making videos because again, this is my dream. Thank you so much for watching this video. And without further ado, I'm going to play the beat that we've been making in this video. On that note, there will also be a video that I recommend you should watch. It's one of my favorite videos in terms of the things I talk about. It's going to pop up on screen. This Peace. The final result of what we've been making in this vlog. I hope you like it. Video is about to pop up on screen so you can continue watching.